Thank you for being with us on this episode. We're not talking about Sharon Oja and <clears throat> why she might have made the decision that she made to marry this man as she only knew for a short period of time. I don't know what has crossed your mind, but I have so many thoughts about this. So that decision that Sharon Oja made marrying this man that she only known for a few months doesn't affect just her. But what I want us to talk about now is not only is it not just her who is the who is an issue here, but what are the things that you think? What are the things that cross your mind that might have made her or that will make a person, okay, let's say what that will make a person in her shoes take this kind of decision? Let's hear from the people in the studio and you'll be thinking about it and let's hear your own thoughts in the comments. I said it's not just about her. You said we've talked about it and, and I said no, there is so much more to talk about and it's not about her. And, and you're like, who else is it about? Do you still think that? Maybe you're muted. Are you muted? Yeah, I was muted. Okay. Yeah, so... The decision to marry is between a husband and a wife. Mm. You make your bed, you lie on it. Yeah. Who you say yes to, you are stuck with. So you decide to do something about it. Nobody made that decision for you. Nobody held a gun to your head. You knew all that was involved and you said yes. So you made your bed, you lie on it. I have issues with the family that knows a man has been married for three times and just got married December 2022 and allows their daughter marry that same man. I can't grasp, except maybe that information was hidden from her father and her mother. But the father and mother I saw that day look learned look exposed and I've listened to her past interviews. She seems to be from a very close knit and loving family. So they don't come across as a family that will see their daughter getting into a dangerous place and let her go in with her two eyes wide open. Now, far reaching consequences of things like this. There was so much stardom and star you know, star craze about that wedding. And I don't want our young girls to have the grandiose idea that uh, the end justifies the means or, well, he's not married to any of those women today. He was married to them before. There's, some, there's something called ethics. There's something called ethics. Someone that was married in 2022 December, that's even if he got divorced in a year, they're just, it's, it's almost seems like he was on the rebound and she was on the rebound. Hmm. And you don't make decisions when you're in a rebound. You don't make life decisions when you are re when you are recovering from a hot situation, when you're recovering from pain. I just... Okay, but... I, um... just, feel, I just feel she has entered one chance. Hmm. We pray for the best. We hope for the best. We pray with the likes of Patobology is doing in their lives. Since he was the one that officiated, I'd like to believe he's in their lives. And I'd like to believe he's a pastor. We play, pray. But don't you understand? Yet. Don't you understand how she might how she might have arrived at this decision? Don't you doesn't it um can't you see how she might have gotten to this point? And do you, can you really, really blame her like that? Like, does everything, does all the blame lie at her feet for making this um, choice? Um, you have social media, you have the internet, you have, there's nobody you want to research to do. She knew. No, I think we, we already know that she knew because she kept this secret all, the, all these months and she didn't reveal who it was. So she already knew, we know that she knew that one. So she knew about his past. And that was the reason we can conclude that that was the reason why she kept his face. No, we can't conclude, but we can only assume. Yeah, so we can, yeah. That's the reason why she kept his face a secret. So, don't you think, but don't you have, and don't you think of other things that will make you actually sympathize with her position and her choice? I can't think of any. Sorry, I don't. I don't sympathize with her choice. I don't sympathize with her decision. I think it was reckless. Reckless. I it, I, yes, I don't think much thought was put into it. Mm. I think the, she was carried away by 
someone has swept me off my feet. You think that? You think that that's that's one of the major things? Yeah, I think she was carried away at by thirty three. Yeah. Hmm. What do you think, Goni? I mean, I watched the wedding. She was all over. I mean, I mean, I mean, body language is there. I mean, when they were doing their couple dance, his hands were not on her, holding her. She took his hand and put it around her waist and said, Hold me. They're not a force those kinds of things. You might not want to hold you when you dance. You don't want to hold you. Oh, well, that might have been. What if. I mean, I can excuse that one. You know why? Because of his past. Any other couple on their wedding day, that would be inexcusable. But because this is a man that has been kept in the shadows, he's been staying in the shadows, so now he's going to be feeling very self-conscious that people are recording this thing. And his mind was probably half there and half half on what is what's going to happen after this. So I'm sure that he wasn't in cell that day on, during the ceremonies. So Onyi, what how do you feel about this choice that Sharon made? Okay, I, I don't feel anything uh, like like Ajiri said, mm. her, her choice is her choice, it's her business. Mm. But Ajiri, let's not underplay the, the role of pressure exactly. of life, right? Go. So, I will speak as a single okay, because person. Of her age. Because of her age. How age and the culture? I'm older than her anyway. You see, there are factors, Ajiri, right? Yes. There, there is the outside pressure, outside pressure coming from maybe all, all your friends are, mar are getting married, all your, maybe everybody's telling you where is your own husband, maybe your own parents. There is outside pressure, there is that. And then there's also the internal pressure. So maybe if you're someone who outside pressure doesn't move, there, there are a few people, a few of us like that, who don't care about the outside pressure, but then there's also the internal pressure. The battle. Right? There's internal pressure of, you think by this age you should have done this, you you, you thought you would have done this by then, you, you need somebody to come home to and gist with, you need, there's internal pressure. And then Nigeria being a very religious place, there's also this pressure of, um, and in church, this is something I was discussing with someone, you know, we have been taught that if some things are not happening in your life, maybe you're not praying enough. I, I know that I lost my mom in 2021, and, and I know what some people said, hmm. right? So, so we don't make That's provisions for things. You, you understand? We don't make provisions for things like that. So if your mom died, and incidentally, my dad too had had um, um, challenges like stroke, which impaired his walking and all that. So, so definitely we, we, <laughs> we were doing something wrong. You know, so so the message that I see, the messaging is that, you know, it, it, there must be something you're not doing well. You've not prayed well. Okay, that there must be some spiritual... Place, if you have entered into the secret place okay. of the most high, he would have had you. No, we're Do talking. You yes. Do you understand? Why? You see, see, actually, Terry, wait, let me finish. I'm a beautiful single woman, and maybe we have to open an episode for me, mm. and we really discuss about being single, but it's mm. not... Oh, um, we can't hear you just in case you can hear me. We can't hear you. Hello? You can't hear me. Okay, now. So, Hello? you're back. You're back. That's an interesting angle you're going. Uh huh. You're going. Yeah, to... yes, yes. I'm trying to. Be, I'm bringing the, the religion part. Yes. I grew up Christian. That's so I many things. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I grew up Christian. I did everything right. You know, yeah. all that. Like, I literally, I tick the boxes if I say so myself. Mm. And so, and because in Nigeria, you've been taught that if you're not married... I can married, join then, you in saying so, actually. Mm -hmm. it, because if you're not married, and then something is wrong with you, right? And then people begin to say, if they if they look at... Because I'm very strong-willed, I say my mind mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. So anybody, or the whole pastor, go to pastor to pray. I said, there's nothing wrong with me. I have not met my person. Yeah. So some of us are fortunate to meet our, our people. Exactly. Enough. And I will not settle. Exactly. And so people just let me. But the pressure is there. And some will right? say you and have a, you have a spiritual husband. Except, no, yeah, especially as a beautiful a girl. Spiritual husband yes. and spirit husband. Yes. He wasn't flying with me. Yes. No, no, but then come into the house of God. The, 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 I know a man of God that told me sometime, you, you, you are too choosy. And anyone you see, ju ju just pick up and manage. Yes. Right. So I'm just saying, if you're in a place where I see, don't get me wrong. I have no problem with Shiloh. I have no problem with Alleluia Challenge. I have I, I log on to some of those when I have the time. But if people just say, 
if you're not having some type of results, sometimes yes. people don't, yeah, it's so really. You, you cut out again, just in case you can hear me. You cut out again. Okay. Okay, you're back. Uh, okay, I'm saying that yes. religion in Nigeria taught us that if you're not having some kind of results at a certain time, then something is wrong. You're not doing it right. So that's a lot of pressure. And so everybody, yes. yeah, everybody wants it to be, when is it my turn? It's my turn to shine. Um, 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 oh, what, what are all these phrases which are good? Um, Jesus, yeah, it has happened finally. Everybody wants it to happen finally. Everybody wants to keep testing. Everybody wants it to be their turn. Right, so these are the issues. These are, and again, let's not talk about when a hypocritical society. We are that, that that one is sure. So it does. I mean, who cares if he's been married three times? She's a missus now, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Isn't she exactly? Right? When a hypocritical. See, you, I mean, we're talking about David and Chioma the other time. Exactly. Who, who cares if David has a hundred children outside? Chioma exactly. So do you understand? So we can't pretend like we don't know. Like all these factors don't matter. Like let, let's not even. And again, when, when a woman is single, I don't know the family she's from, but if she has younger sisters and maybe she's the first, there's also this thing like ah, your sisters are looking up to you or marry. Let I, I think she even has a younger sister clearly. that is married. She even has a, a married younger okay, sister. Okay, okay, okay. Again, that is another form of pressure, right? So my, my younger sister is married, but it, it's okay. See. As exposed as my family is at everything, after my sister's wedding, when she married, I came and all that did like I felt, I mean, well, I, I was very, very active putting things together and all that. Do, do you know that after my, after my sister's wedding, I had my dad telling someone that, that, that they were so impressed with the way I behaved. <laughs> I was all over the place putting things together and I was shocked. These are my Christian exposed parents mm. saying, first, why won't I put things together at my sister's wedding? Because, it, because some people expect that a woman in that situation yeah, will, that be, that will, will be feeling bad. I, thought, I, I, I can tell you that not every elder sister whose younger sister is getting married. Exactly. That's why we don't generalize I, 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 this I, I never for once, mm -hmm. I always made it clear, you know, because... Over the years, aunties would come try to bring people. Oh, you need, you need to see this one, see yeah. this. Yeah. I made it clear. Oh, you, your, your thing is cutting out. Yeah, so it's from here. No, she, she, it's back. Okay. Okay. So I'm Sorry saying I connection. have never given anyone in my whole house. I'm the most easygoing. I'm the. I had never given anyone the impression that I, I, I was that kind of person. I had. Mm. I have not met my person. Yeah. Right. So I, I always made it clear from day one. So for, for my parents to still be uh, saying they were impressed, I don't know. It just shows. It just shows the mm. kind of society we're in. So we cannot pretend that this pressure doesn't exist. Yes. I like to think that I'm a strong willed person. I know what I want and I have given things a, a thought. And also I have settled sometimes been in relationships that I didn't really want. But I just got in so that, you know, let, let it just be. And I was very miserable. And after thinking to myself, I made, I made you very hard it. decisions. Yeah. Do you understand? Very hard. Let's not pretend that it's easy for everybody. Let's yeah. not pretend that the pressure is not there. Let's not pretend. Also, I think we need to do an entire show talking about this unnecessary and undue pressure. That's why we're. That's why we're. Dealing. That's why we're talking about this. I wanted to address this issue that um, my dear sister talked about. You see this because older oh, sister and younger there sister. Be, there must be something. No, there must be something, something wrong. Christianity. If you have not accomplished, or if you don't have a job after you graduated after how many years, or if you are not married, or if you are married you don't have children. Something has gone wrong. Maybe you're not praying hard enough. Maybe you're not fasting hard enough. Maybe you're mm -hmm. not fasting. Excuse me. Are we trying to bribe God? Do you think okay, I have it. Let me prayer? ask a question. Let me ask a question we, now. Are we sending a message as men and women of God who are preaching this gospel? Are you sending the message that it is the person's prayer or lack of it thereof? Or the person's fasting or lack of it thereof? Or the person's giving or lack of it thereof that will determine the outcome. God is God. You cannot untwist God. You cannot bribe. Okay, hold on. 
I'm going to mute you now. God will do what he will do in his own time. Can we let the singles breathe? Okay, let's do Let's have a let's have a reminder. You pressurize you to marry someone that has that was married three other times. Okay. I three complex. Let's have a reminder. So no. Yes. So a few days ago. I have friends who are like my age, 48, 49, going on 50. Nobody's even saying hello to them. Nobody's even saying, come, let's go out on a date. And I know the pain. They are considering adopting children. They are considering adopting. Some are considering IVF. But they are nice Christian girls. So how are they going to answer the children? They say, ask the question, when this child turns 16, 15, and asks me, who is my father? What do I tell her? Okay. okay I, 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 I also have a topic on this. <laughs> we will talk about that. But All right. I'll, I'll just drop this, Uzo. Uzo, I'll just drop this. Mm -hmm. I say with my full chest, yes. do not wait until you are 48 if you want to have children. I, I'm sorry but to say if your pastor is a great change right now. No. They yes, thought, yes, but yes, the yes, time yes, was yes, going, yes, you clocked 32, nothing. 34, nothing. Do not wait until you are 48 before you begin to make plans. Okay, but, but that's not what we're talking about today. So thing, I told my daughter and her friends, I told them, when you are 21, 22, 23, 24, don't assume that you will get married early. That is the prayer. But while your eggs are still very, very viable and still very, very appropriate for children, go and freeze them. Let's I agree. agree. Foolish. I agree. You are still young and your eggs are still very yeah. good. We had that conversation already on this. Yeah. Hmm. Too late then. Exactly. We had that conversation already and we're going to do another one now that we have new people. We're going to have that conversation all over again. And so, yeah, so these are the things, these are the reasons why we're having this conversation about Sharon because everybody's talking about how foolish she was, how foolish she was. Look at all the pressure. Look at all the pressure we're talking about. We're talking about people pressurizing from church, from the religious angle. And don't forget that we talked about this a few days ago, that some of these things, that some of these pronouncements that people make from, from religiosity in Nigeria, some of these pronouncements are from for a couple that was just getting married. My internet is bad. Okay. So we had a meeting after a women's meeting after service for a couple getting ready to get married. And she was praying for them about child about having children. And then she now said that let's pray for them to have children and that in the house of God will be barren. And that anybody, any woman who is barren is not she actually said I think she said is not um she said he's not a Christian, he's not a real Christian. And God forbid, she couldn't have done that. She did. I have that episode. I'm going to go back and look at it to remember what she said. She actually said, but well, that was the meaning of what she said. And when she said it, my heart just tore like this because I know people who, can you imagine if they were there in that meeting, how they would have felt? And these are people that, I mean, of course, I don't know what people do behind closed doors, but these are people that I'm not sure that you can even say, hey, you, you are not a, you know, it's just not fair. How do you make a pronouncement like that? So these are the pressures. So, yeah. The, look at the wrong girls, the ones that were doing wrong, the ones that were doing sugar, that everything. Look, let me tell you, life is not a, life is not black and white. They are the ones that they... They know what to do. They know how to take care of themselves. They know how, what to do. You guys, you cut out because my internet is bad. I don't know what's happening in my connection today. I'm saying it again. Don't Oh my gosh. Oh my god. But it's not cutting at your end, right? No, it's not. It's mine. It's no, my, my, connection, my connection is bad. Sorry. Is so, it your house internet or your phone internet? My house internet. Say it again. So you said. What I'm trying to say is that we have seen how those who we knew were wrong girls. Those who we knew were living with their boyfriends on campus. My dear, today they get saved, tomorrow they are pastor's wife. As they become pastor's wife, they start having, they, they have three, four children, back, 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 back to back. It's, it's pure grace. It's pure, I think God does what you want to do. Now, I want us to remember something right here. Do you guys know that if, that if, if a girl didn't get married now, in another five, ten years, everybody will come back and say, you should have just married that one. 
Do you know that? Do you actually know that? You should have just married that one. At least you should have, yes. I said, at least, na man, na man. You should have just married that one. So, 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 so now let me ask you something. So now, let's look at it this way. So, Sharon meets this guy. This guy has been married three times. She knows, and so she hides his face. But let's look at these marriages. The first one was a was with a with um someone of another race in a foreign land. So possibly a passport Mali marriage. Possibly may not have been, but let's assume that this is what he told her, or that this is what she believed. Do you understand? So she can count in her mind. I'm looking. I want to get married, and I like this guy, and he's treated me well so far. Now, I know that this first, this first marriage is not a real marriage in the real sense of it, even though we have a license and it was a marriage, right? So we can discount that because I am just trying to say that, honestly, a two marriages now left to talk about. Ha, ah, my connection is so bad. Now, the next one, I hear something about mental illness. We don't know what he might have told her. He might have told her that she had issues. We don't know. But you know, in a situation like this, it's easy for one to just want to jettison and throw away reasons. You know, I can imagine someone going along with all sorts of things and making, trying to make sense of everything because you want to get something. Don't forget her age, thinking about having a child because before the last, say, year or so that we started talking about things like this on this platform, I didn't used to hear people talking about if you don't have a child at this age, go and um, freeze your eggs. I didn't hear people talking about those things. So maybe she's never done anything like that. And she's thinking, this is my opportunity that he has. He has a job. He has a good job. And so this is not a bad prospect. And if he's treating her well and hasn't done anything for her to... I know that there's something like love bombing. So maybe in that period, he was just being good. But if she hasn't seen any reason, any good reason, and there are all these other pressures... It's easy to see why a person would bow to that. So if our society is not bringing all these pressures, and we're again talking about someone who is religious um, herself, so if we're not, if she doesn't have all these pressures, both internal and external, and then there's another one that is so big. If this girl is talking so much about religion, and you said that she's a Christian, do you understand that there's a possibility that this girl has not been having sexual intercourse, and she has those urges to fulfill, and they are real, and here is a man, and I've checked all these other things. I, I can't wait anymore. And you know, she had a heartbreak. Maybe she was waiting, and that one broke, the, that relationship broke. And it's like, how long am I going to wait again? So for you, it may not be an issue to, to live without sex. But for her, at the age of 33, it might be something that she was considering. And she doesn't want to do it without getting married. And so she thinks to herself, I don't really have a valid reason to not marry this guy, except for the fact that I don't know him so well. At the worst, what is he going to do to me? Because when you're in a, in, a, in a situation like that, you can discount a lot of things. And if you're not very experienced with life and relationships, you might not even realize how bad a human being can get. And so you feel like, okay, I will take the leap. I will make this. Because after all, we have people who live in abusive relationships that are beating them up every day. And they still live there. We have a, 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 a society that encourages people to stay under abuse. And you're telling someone who has not been abused that she shouldn't go and marry this man because he has one or two marriages that she can even rule out completely. And I also heard that the third marriage, that it was a traditional marriage, and then he wasn't even, he wasn't even staying with the woman, so they were apart. So now we don't know. Now let, let, let's remember something, and he may have told her that. When you're abroad, we know that sometimes it's difficult to find a partner. What if you're thinking, okay, let me get someone. And you get someone that you don't really know, someone who is back home. These are the stories that he could have told her. And they are valid stories. They might be real. They might be true. Maybe this is not someone that he really had any affection for. But she's okay. I can marry her. If he tells her that, she will buy it. When she wants a marriage, that's easy to buy. So I don't know why we're sacrificing this girl. She, there's too much pressure here. Let's just be fair. And this is what other ladies are going through. This is what other people... And other people will still go through this. Do you understand? You know, mm -hmm. and then we talk it's about uh, that's so much. And even the friend was supporting because when they first came out and and talked about oh this man look at his background blah blah blah. Only you're there, right? Yes, I'm here. You saw that a friend, her close friend, came out and said, "Shut up! Don't say that." 
just shut up I'm, how can you lie and she said that what they were saying was a, i don't know which part did she mean that it was a lie that she had been previously married several times or did she mean that part of what they said was a lie whatever it was if she had people close to her who are even supporting her to go ahead do you understand that in a situation like this your close friends and family will say no 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 you cannot marry this man because you don't know him but apparently people close to her we've already talked about the parents now apparently people close to her were in support of her going ahead what if she shared her fears with them or her concerns and they came to i say this is a calculated choice that she made because if i was to make this choice i would be well aware of all the things wrong here but i want to go in because i want to have my child i want to have it with a man that i'm married to i want to have sex i want to have i want to have born that mrs title i've been married i'm not an obanji i don't have a spiritual husband all these are valid reasons they won't tell me tomorrow oh, you, you, you should have married that one or oh, why did you wait oh you were being too choosy they won't tell somebody will come out and say but you knew that that wasn't a real marriage you only married her because of papers look at all this i'm not saying i'm not condoning what has happened here because i really fear for her because to marry somebody that you don't even even someone that you know can spring surprises on you because when you talk about human beings being human a lot of things come out from there not to talk of someone that you don't know so i don't condone it but i want us to everybody should stop castigating her think for real get into her try and get into her shoes and see the pressure and then think about yourself and your friends when you talk to your friends imagine the kind of pressure that you're putting on your friends when you're talking to them and lastly <laughs> lastly <laughs> everybody has different standards now we all think that my standards for marriage and choosing a partner are the same things that the next person is looking for i may be looking for love a relationship companionship someone else will just be looking for creating a family you know those of us who think of love we do this never comes into our minds other people are going in for other things maybe i'm going in because we have a transactional relationship he's going to get what he needs from me she has a lot to offer this is a girl that has a lot to offer see when you're an attractive woman whether it's with beauty fame uh, whatever it is that you have contacts when you're an attractive woman there is a lot of you are under a lot of pressure there are yeah. things that people need from you and sometimes it's not even about you so the way you're going to manage yourself in fact people think that attractive women have it easy or they can have in fact you have more trouble maybe you I, have more trouble that's where you're coming from oh that's a conversation. Okay, so when you is here, we're going to have that conversation. Everybody's falling at their feet. I'll give you, I'll tell you one. I'll tell you one. I'll tell you one thing that those women know. Because already she's a woman that people think that she feels, she's feeling herself. Already they are going in battle ready. So that when they meet you, they want, they make things difficult for you. Because they feel like I need to show her that she's not the boss of me call that girl into your room and have a conversation with her do you think otherwise I should have had a hundred men ready to marry do you do, do you know the kind of battles that she's had she's faced being beautiful and being famous like that it's only walk in the park and people are jealous of her people will be jealous of such people but you don't know what they're going through have no idea they will say oh she can have any man she, <laughs> if that was the case why is she married a man that has married three times with all this history do we Hmm? exactly look at you saying that now <laughs> look at you saying that now but that is the thing about life what you have you have some things Aji, that anybody who's looking at you will say ah, Aji, you can do this Aji, you can do that meanwhile those very things may be the things that are creating issues for you <laughs> you know that's how life is life works in opposites so you have to just calm down put your take your head off your off your neck put it on the table and have a conversation with it Seriously, yeah, and, and I want to say that it's not that easy. As a matter of fact, her beauty and fame is a, a problem. Fact, might actually be working against her. Might be working against me. her. Believe me on this. Really? So, I just, so, so she will be I, attracting the I, wrong people. I have always felt that those or those, I mean, when we we're growing up, some people were just paragons. That's when we were children. When we were children, we thought we thought like children. <laughs> now that we're adults, you know better. Yeah. You know, so you, you so you have a beautiful daughter. You're going to have to talk to her specially i'm telling you you're going to have to talk to her specially and she herself needs to know how to manage herself and her beauty 
Otherwise, her beauty is exactly what we were working against her. You know? <laughs> no, but it's about... Because, because people are it's, we have to be practical. It's, it's, somewhat, it's somewhat similar to, we have to, be to someone who is very rich. Yes. So, so you know that a good number of people approaching you are not doing so because they like it. They just want what they can get from you. So, so for, for a woman who is beautiful and famous... For, for a lot of men, it's about that ability to say, I bad this woman. She's the one. Yeah, I'm the one. Yeah, I own her. her yeah, I own her. It's a matter of saying, I, I bagged her. I own her. She, do you understand? But it's her personality and character that really matter. Yeah, do you because, understand? So yeah. for it, 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 it really works like that, right? So And they, they believe that beautiful and famous women are, are more difficult to, to get, in quotes. So if uh -huh. you, if you I've achieved her, you something. Really achieved, or or huh. not like some basic girl mm -hmm. that you didn't take any... Do you understand? So people coming to you are coming to you for all the wrong reasons. All the wrong reasons. Exactly. So in that position, it's particularly difficult to, to find a genuine person. So uh, Except if God helps you. Yeah, no, no. Or, or, or you go to class. You need to come to a class where it is taught how to how to actually be <laughs> how to actually be and live as an attractive woman and navigate relationships. Otherwise, you are just maybe you're even at the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> you won't believe that. So that's that has been the um, those have been the stories. If you really pay attention and if you talk with people, okay. So what have we not covered so essentially so i was saying at the end of the day that um well, your standards that is the benefit to my own is that let her just make sure she gets that child that she wants <laughs> yeah that, well if that is part of what she went in for yes yes no no i said her she wants to the family uh -huh. she, 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 she does yeah children, so but the girl is so sweet right you can't help but feel warm being having a yeah. good of children kind of person she, she, she wants that yeah yeah and, and then at the end of the day the biggest thing that we can keep in mind here is despite all these things it's the experience if she was inexperienced again let's go back to being a religious christian nigerian girl she may really not have had enough experiences relationship wise to really understand how people how the layers continue to peel back and different things are released and all that. So she may be the type who is into all that um, romance, romance, romance. And so once she feels those butterflies and feels that happiness with that person and the person is giving her the same, the same vibes, she may not be able to look beyond that. Or it could be like Ajiri said, coming from the, the heartbreak and the rebound, it might just be like, okay, I'm just going to take this one. I'm happy right now. And like I said the last time, maybe it's like, okay, this happiness might not last, but let me at least enjoy this bliss for a while. Because I can imagine that as a human being, one can make that choice. I know that this might not last, but let me enjoy this while it lasts. And I get all the other things that I want. So there's so many things there. So that's it. That is it. Nigeria contributed a lot to this and has been doing this to people because there are many people in their marriages who... They would never have walked down the aisle. Like I, I told you guys the last time, that I'm going to start reading those letters. So many people would never have gotten married, but for one pressure or the other. And that's why when we, when we talk about the uh, relationship difficulties, divorces and all that, it's not really because relationships are difficult. Mostly it's because relationships that shouldn't even have been formed are formed. So in something like this now, when the issue starts tomorrow, you, you, you want to come and bring all those things that you generally bring, that you usually bring, oh no, if your wife has this or that support, if your husband has, no, because it's, if it was formed on a different foundation, all those rules cannot apply. Say something to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If, if celebrity mm -hmm. who called her wedding two weeks to the wedding, she returned the Vera Wang wedding dress, she returned everybody that mm -hmm. told him, she returned to, she, she who is that? that? Who is that? I, I, what's her name? Oh, but I, I need to and why she said she knew she was going into a trap mm -hmm. and rather call off a wedding that everything had been was this recent very recent okay she you tell us about that okay don't mention you tell us about that afterwards yeah mm -hmm. so for me it was See? like a bold step yeah yeah a bold that's a bold and step like she was like everybody is going to hate on me everybody's going to say something is wrong with me but I'd rather work out They'll now. say she has a spiritual husband. She said she'd rather work out now than get into something she'll regret for the rest of her life. 
I said both of them. In fact, let me tell you what. So a couple called me. Here's what happened. They they were going to get married. It was about less than a month to the wedding. To the to the wedding. And it, it turned out that the girl had been stepping out on the guy. And I said, I think you should postpone this wedding. Don't have your wedding yet. And then the conversation was like, but it's going to look like they are going to start saying that I have a spiritual wife, that I have spiritual issues. So this is our culture again. And so because of this, he was thinking, no, there's no story. There's nothing I can tell them. I have to go ahead and do this marriage. I have this marriage. So do you understand? So our culture, so people, the pressure is a lot. Let me Google the lady now, now, now. No, don't, don't mention it here. So we're going to have that separately. So the pressure is a lot from, from us with, with our spiritual husband and spiritual wife thing. People don't want you to judge them. In this. People don't want you to judge them like that. And because of that, people will go ahead and marry someone even when they don't want to. And even stay in, okay, now that she's married to this man, do you know that she can marry this man, discover some things, and then now not even want to come out? But want to prove to the whole world that they are wrong. Exactly. So that's why we need to allow her to know that we understand. But we also know that as a, as a good girl that she is, she's going to do her best to keep this married. But if, it, if they begin to show you Shege inside there, don't think about all these people that are saying they told you they told you. What's your last word? My last word is your choice. Mm -hmm. You didn't wear any health. The gun wasn't healthy. You, you made your decision. You <laughs> you've come life. back. You've, you've come full circle and come you back. Don't rely on it. You say a gun wasn't held to her head. Anything you see when you enter inside, take it. Yeah. What's your last word, Oni? No, yes, same thing, same thing. Mm. That there is pressure, yes, but ultimately you decide what you want to do, mm. whichever path you want to follow. Mm. Or own it with your chest, like we would say in Nigeria. Own it with your chest. Mm. Whatever you decide to do, own it. All right, and with okay. that, yes. So thank you for being with us on this episode. I'm gonna close this. I want you to look out for something. I am going to make. I'm going to do a small video talking about the psychology behind marrying somebody that we met in a hurry. I want us to look at certain things that we don't pay attention to. I'm going to put the, the in the description under this video the link so that you can get access to that video and an article. All right, make sure that you share what you've learned from this video and let us learn you know, learn the things that we have come with from our culture as Nigerians. Okay. Bye, bye. All right, bye. Mm.